our samples are done and we've read our samples. We've got our gloves on. What do we do when we pull the samples out? Count them. Read them. Yeah. Read them. And then so once we've read them and we put the information on the data sheet, mm -hmm. what do we do to clean up? Spray the spray the plates first. And then we spray and wipe our area down. Take our gloves. And then everything goes down into the world bag. Now, of course I would have done all of this with my gloves on, but then just like that, all the plates, all the junk, everything's been all sprayed, and then your area is all wiped down, seal it, and put it in the trash. Yes, okay. Procedural question. So let's just say you're doing two sites. Yes. You come in after you've collected your order for those two sites. You do your first site. Do you, can you set those aside and then do your second site so that you're putting everything in the incubator at the same time? So that's that exactly your what hours. Do. Yes, because you want your because you, you don't want to open it up no. later on and. No. Uh, new yeah. stuff. What I do is, especially if I have multiple sites, I do them all at one time. And so that way I'm only opening, opening the incubator once to put them all in and I close it. And then that way they're all cooking the same amount of time and that I know that they'll all be done at the same time. So let's just say you've done site one. Yes. And do you need to then dispose, clean, disinfect your area, and then pull out site two and start doing it? You, you can do, do it if you have everything and you have multiple sites. You can do this all in all in one. One. <laughs> it's because it's the same exact procedures, and so you would just have instead of only having four plates, you'd have eight plates. You just need the space. And you just need the space so to be able to do it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. But yeah, if you have three or four sites, then absolutely you can start from the get go and you can go all the way through. You can change tips from one site to the next. Yes, next. that's the important thing that if right. you are changing the sites, you've got to change the tips because it will cross contaminate right. from one site to another and you don't want to do that. Absolutely. And when you're plating with multiple sites, like we said, you just need to have one blank in your cooler and you also only need to plate one blank for those sites. So you'll have one blank um, that you can use for multiple sites because it went with all of your samples in your cooler everywhere as well. So you'll have one plate for your blank and then three per site. Yeah. So in total really it's your three plus the one. So you have four per site but you're just reusing that blank because that blank is representative for the entire day for all the sites. So control yeah. blank and use it for all sites? Uh -huh. Yes. If everything was in that same cooler and that was the blank for that three, then absolutely. Yes. So if you only have one, then you just have one blank and then three for the site, and you'll have four total. Yeah. That's the reason you call for a different protocol if you see trouble, because they're going to have a more strict regulated procedure for their sample. Yeah, they go through a lab and look at it differently when they pull it. Ours is an indication, and theirs is a direct read. Real, yeah. Mm -hmm. And actually, they've seen that the petrofoam and the lab are actually really comparable too, but it's just that the lab standard is slightly yeah. different than the petrofoam. The regulation is exactly. Different. Mm -hmm. So these are a very trusted way of doing all the bacteria and getting a very good indication of what it is. Right. So, but there's a lot. Of but it's not regulatory. Yes, yeah. technically. So maybe I'm thinking of it, but we take. The distilled water. I thought we did that at each side. Mm -hmm. So that you don't you can, have well, you, so that the atmosphere, the temperature, all that stuff is the same. And, and you only need the one. For the whole day's food? Mm -hmm. Even if there are multiple sites? Up to the end. Yeah, just, just the one. Yeah, just the one. Mm -hmm. Because you'll be, um, even though you're going to multiple mm -hmm. sites, they'll all be in that cooler together mm -hmm. with your blanket. So they're, they're traveling together and going through that whole process, the same process.
And colo phones are not usually found in the air. So you can't find uh, colo phones. So what I would like for you guys to do now is to kind of um, get used to the feel. Um, 